Good morning. Uh, we're going to start in Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 today. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. Our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Have you ever... Have you ever tried to turn a screw in with a hammer? No, because it don't work. It don't. That that tool was not made for that job. There's there's thousands of tools, but they have a specific purpose, a specific job. And and I feel like. I'm speaking to somebody that is struggling, somebody is battling today, and, and, and you're fighting. And I want to say this as nicely as I can, but I want to be honest. You're fighting and you're you're spinning your wheels. You're 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 not going anywhere. And and I feel like the Lord spoke into my spirit that that if if the fight that you're in is not gaining ground, if you're not, if you're not winning, if you're not going anywhere, it's just spinning and you're just not doing anything. Let's time out. Let's, let's change our weapon. Let's change our tool. Let's change, let's change what we're doing here. Let's, let's stop. Well, you say, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm praying. Ain't that what I'm supposed to do? Time out. Let's seek God. Maybe, maybe the, the battle that you're in, maybe it needs a little fasting. Maybe, maybe it needs something else. But let's, let's stop. Let's turn to God, seek the one that's in charge and say, Father, I'm battling this. I'm battling such and such. How do I fight that? How, what do I, what am I supposed to be doing? Say it with a sincere heart. Speak to your Heavenly Father. And then give Him time to respond. Give Him time to sit there in your quiet and listen. Remember, our, our weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are through God. They're mighty. And, and, and the weapons may not seem like weapons. You know? You, you take David going up against Goliath. Goliath's got the sword and the shield. But what does he have? I got a rock. What? I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into a battle with a stick if my opponent has a gun. But that's, this is what it is. You know, our weapons are mighty through God. But if you're battling and you're not including God, then you're spinning your wheels. But what did he do? What did David do? He went, he took those stones, he went up against Goliath, and it's not the stones that made the difference. It's not that he picked the right sling or picked the right stone. What did, what did the Bible say? Our weapons are mighty through God. It's, it's the faith that activates the weapon. It's the faith that activates the, the strength of that weapon. They're mighty. That's a mighty weapon now. When you include God, things get mighty. When you include God in, in your problems, in your, in your daily life, it gets mighty. I, I think about Gideon. Ah. Oh. He, he, he told God, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm the least in my family. I'm the, we're the least in the tribe. But he was mighty. He was mighty. God called, called him mighty. But what did he use? What, what, what did he go to war with? A pot, a torch, and a ram's horn. A pot, a torch, and a ram's horn. 
So I, I just think about that. I think about, I think about taking a, a trumpet, a pot that you cook with, and, and a flashlight. What am I going to do with this? But it's, it's the faith that activates the weapon. Ah. Oh, it's the faith that activates the weapon. He broke the pot, held the torches, blew the ram's horn, and mm, the battle was his. But it was the faith that activated those weapons. You say, well, that, that ain't even something you fight with. That's the thing. That's the thing of it. God uses the most crazy things to fight with. But you read in that story of Gideon there in Judges, and, and God was God told Gideon, if you're afraid to go into battle, then sneak down to the camp with your servant and listen. So he, he snuck down. That tells me that Gideon was afraid. It, it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be, be a little scared. But don't let that fear drive you. Don't let that fear control you. Remember your God. Remember who you serve. You remember that he is mightier than all. But they snuck down to the in enemy's camp and they listened. And there was one that was talking to another and he had a dream and he told him the dream. And, and the enemy admitted, hey, well, shoot, the battle's won. Gideon's going to win this war. They they already claimed defeat. They already knew it was going to happen. Your enemy already knows that he's a loser. Congratulations, you're a winner. But he's going to try to convince you that you're that you're not. But remember, if, if the battle don't seem to be going anywhere, let's stop. Let's hit time out for a second. Let's hit our knees in prayer. Seek God. And change our weapon. Maybe, maybe that we need to change our tactic. Switch something up. Father, what, what does my faith need to activate, Lord Jesus? Where, where do you want me to go in this battle? I don't seem to be getting anywhere. What do I need to do? What am I doing wrong, Father? And let Him speak to you. Let Him guide you. Let Him instruct you into what, what you need to do. I hope this was encouraging. Remember, you are mighty. Our weapons are mighty all through God, all through Christ, all through God. Without him, I can do nothing. But with him, there's nothing impossible. God bless you.